Hey guys, what's up? Connor here and welcome to Nerdy Chat, the newest hub of pop culture conversation. Today I'll be talking to you about Blind Way, the popular YouTube channel to cover reactions, gaming, podcasting and many other areas. So sit back, relax and take in some facts about the Blind Wave crew you might not have known before today. Hope you enjoy. You might already be aware of me from Courageous Nerd, where I interview actors, writers and filmmakers from your favourite shows and movies, including Cobra Kai, Breaking Bad, Ozark, Supernatural, Lost, The Flash, Log and Key and many more. Actually, I've already written an article about Blind Way for Courageous Nerd. To find that article and the link to the Courageous Nerd YouTube channel, check the description below. Any likes and subscribes to both channels are greatly appreciated. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, a reaction is defined as something done, felt or thought in response to a situation or event. Right now on YouTube, reaction channels dominate the game. Viewers enjoy watching people experience something they love for the very first time. It's a chance to go on those journeys all over again through someone else's eyes. That being said, Blind Wave has surpassed the typical reaction channel and grown into a multifaceted business. In addition to reactions, two of the members even made a cameo appearance on Legends of Tomorrow. Blind Wave currently has four members. Their typical seating from left to right is as follows. Eric Whiteley, Rick Martin, Calvin Grubb and Aaron Elliott. While they may be business partners now, this wasn't always the case. In fact, they were friends and in some cases family who went into business together. Rick and Aaron have been friends since grade school and met Eric at Washington State Community College. Calvin, however, is Rick's brother-in-law, being the brother of Rick's wife, Maggie. At the very beginning, Blind Wave's wave cave was Eric's basement, and if you watch the early videos they put out, he mentions he edited all the videos pretty much by himself. Nowadays, however, the crew have a larger space to work in and they can also hire additional editors for a faster output of videos. While it's obvious that Blind Wave are from the United States, even the most passionate Wave riders may not know exactly where. Well, as a matter of fact, the group are from and still base themselves in Marietta, a city in southeastern Ohio. Blind Wave have been fairly consistent over the years, but there has been a few lineup changes in that time. There are originally only three members, with Calvin later joining to make four, and a couple years after that, Rick came on board as the last full time member. However, the current lineup of four members has been in place as of July 2020. Overall, though, the group have never strayed too far out of their close circle of friends or family and bringing in new reactors, especially on a full time basis. Many of us know that YouTube is very difficult to make a full-time career in. This was no different for Blind Wave as they all once had day jobs to continue working in. Perhaps most notably, Rick was working as a part-time professor when he left to focus on Blind Wave a few years ago. Having reacted to so many different shows and movies over the years, it's no surprise that Blind Wave have received acknowledgement from people involved in those projects whether directly or through intervention from fans. Some examples include Chloe Bennett who played Daisy on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Luke Arnold aka John Silver from Black Sails, Michelle Harrison or Nora Allen from The Flash, or John Noble who played Walter Bishop on Fringe. Blind Wave have even collaborated with other popular YouTube reactors, allowing the viewers' worlds to collide. Some examples of this include the Normies as well as Akasan, the latter of whom also did an in-depth interview with the Blind Wave crew a few years ago. Officially speaking, there's no actual leader of Blind Wave, they're a group of four equals and there's no outright person in charge. That doesn't stop viewers or the fans having split opinions on the matter. Some say Eric, some say Aaron, and Rick leads the way during game night videos. So, sorry Calvin.
In 2021, Blind Wave expanded their reach even further when Eric, one of the reactors, became a competitor in the popular movie trivia showdown hosted by Collider. He became a part of the quirky Merc faction alongside the likes of Collider's Coy Jandro, film director Kevin Smith and actor Brendan Mayer, among others. Long-time Blind Wave fans remember before they ever did reactions or anything else, they started out doing choreographed lightsaber fights. And there we have it, 10 things about Blind Wave that you might not have known previously. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest Nerdy Chats content. And until the next video, remember, stay nerdy.